And back with uh, Sam and Max, <laughs> the uh, censored version. Max, too hot for TV. Actually, this is way too hot for TV. God damn. Uh, so what we do now is don the stilt walker's costume, get into the Bigfoot party and finish the game. I guess we could try it on. I guess you should, because you were just told it was magnificent. Hmm. <laughs> hey, that's a downright nice Sasquatch costume. I'll let you guys in with that one. Yeah, off we fucking scoot, Doc. Looks like something important's happening. Finally! <laughs> Hundreds of years ago, it was becoming apparent that our time was running out. Yet we were slow to heed the warnings of impending doom. The seemingly slow encroachment of mankind and all that his many living styles entail seemed like a vague and distant problem. And the subtitles are a bit out of whack again. Future generations of Yeti to solve. Dosbox. we sat back, ignoring our own inner call for action. Tradition and the status quo were our excuses for complacency. The oh, he's a very eloquent not just losing our way of life, but possibly our very lives. And the demise of our entire race is now becoming a reality. A reality we can no longer choose to ignore. As it turns out, the humans and their technology are moving faster than we are, much faster than we had anticipated. And so, we now face the final crisis. Unless we pull together, not just acknowledging the need for change, but embracing change not just with our hearts and our minds, but with our actions, we will fall behind, moving backward into extinction. Or you'll just get trapped in right? ice flows. Back to the music. Ding, 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 ding. Tried the punch. Um, okay, so basically the big feet are about to be extinct because they have no forests to hide in. And they also don't want any contact with humans, but they're quite happy to rent out Evelyn Morrison's Jungle Inn for their gathering or whatever. This guy's really nice. I'll just be weird to him. A third shadow is nigh. What are you talking about? Sorry, must have eaten some bad berries. What do you want? I want to spout things at you. You're the skinniest Bigfoot I've ever seen. I've been fasting in preparation for the day when the aliens come to rescue us. This, the, the what now? Well, actually, no, not the what now, because we saw aliens. The mole men were apparently aliens. They just dropped that on us out of the blue. Scary fucking LSD aliens. Didn't we meet last summer in Cancun? I don't think so. I was hanging upside down in a block of ice last summer. How'd that happen? Oh, the usual. I was strolling in the Andes, minding my own business. He's the abominable when snowman. Some idiot mountain climber comes <laughs> along and yells, Hey, it's the abominable snowman. Next thing I know, there's an avalanche, and I'm covered in 20 feet of snow. The ice climber's when I dead. Wake up, I'm hanging upside down in an ice block in some place called the Mystery Vortex. And we've been there. Congratulations on escaping. Has Bruno shown up yet? Keep your voice down. Bruno's involved in a top-secret reconnaissance mission to the alien's home planet. He is? Of course. How silly of me to forget. This is the part where you just... You don't know if the game's trolling you or not. If this is actually part of the plot or if the game's just lost the plot at this point. Wouldn't put anything past it. Have you seen Bruno's girlfriend anywhere? Shh. She's helping Bruno contact the aliens. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. You haven't run into Conroy Bumpus, have you? No, but I know how to deal with him. He has a near-fatal vulnerability to ice, like all beings from the evil planet Snargton. We'll keep that in mind. Believe it or not, that's a hint. Although I don't think he is from we'll another planet. Uh, figures. Figure speech. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, oh, we might want to censor this, by the way. Yeah, that is just too hot for... Uh, YouTube. Uh, well, we'll talk to her later. Uh, she's the uh, chief, um, chief s uh, squeeze. <laughs> wife, common law wife, I guess. Have you seen Bruno around? I haven't seen the dude since he rescued me. I hear he's hiding out from a crazy bear and bunny who want to drag him off to an evil carnival. Bear? <laughs> what was that? Gas. Have you seen Conroy Bumpus around here? 
Is he the guy that coined the phrase, hang ten? No, he's a country western star going berserk. Ooh, heinous. This was the 90s. I'll let you get back to your food. Mahalo, dude. Yeah, he's of no use whatsoever. Let's just hang, uh, hang ten real quick in the back room. Where we shall indeed retrieve shite that we will need later. Like this ice pick. We can hopefully jam in someone's eye. And put that in our inventory because you never know. There we go. But the, playing with the fucking mouse cursor's off is just peculiar. So, open this up, and we'll just scoot out the back door, shall we? Yikes! Or not. Well, 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 a Bigfoot. Sure is a scrawny feller. A Bigfoot in the hand is worth two in the bush, Lee Harvey. Uh, sorry, boss. Think nothing of it, old chap. Now, be a good lad and pop off to the bus and get the net. Yes, sir, Mr. Bumpus. Well, this is a mighty fine pickle, isn't it? Maybe we can talk our way out of it. I'd probably feel more threatened if I wasn't so hungry. You'll be well fed in my menagerie. Um... I'm not really a Bigfoot, you know. Pull the other one. Okay, which one would you like me to pull? I Stupid fucking boot of yours, or the stupid fucking hairpiece? Where'd you get that British accent, anyway? I'm originally from Liverpool, twit. You. No, he ain't. Why do you persecute harmless Bigfoots? Harmless? Harmless? I'll have you know my parents were killed by a rabid Bigfoot. They weren't. Really? Well, no. Actually, I'm just a warped, evil person who gets his jollies tortured in cute woodland creatures. Well, that's a valid motivation, too. Valid, but reprehensible. Look behind you, a three-headed monkey. Nice try. That never works. I can't be in your menagerie. I don't know how to play an instrument. You'll be amazed how a few hundred volts speeds up the learning process. All right, you know what? You'll never get away with this. We've had enough of this. Ooh, I'm so scared. And you should be. So if you're trying to take a step towards him... Don't make a move. ...is that. So what we do is we just take off the fucking costume. Maybe this will convince you that I'm not a Bigfoot. Because that's intuitive. You have to use it in the inventory. But anyway, fucking... You again? Hello. I left the net back in Bumpusville. Forget the net. We're going to disguise ourselves as a Bigfoot. Why? So we can infiltrate their ranks, learn their ways... That seems like a lengthy plan. Oh. And no funny stuff, dog boy. Yeah. Okay, I'll let my rabbit do the fucking... Um... Go, go, go. Help me with my zipper. Max, get over here. Come on. Um... Pick up Max. Hey. I wouldn't move if I were you. Wasn't trying to, yeah. you assholes. I don't just... Hey, Max, why don't you... Oh, I just use the useful? door. I don't use Max on. Oh, uh, fine. That was fun. Now future generations will be able to enjoy his atonal warblings. Are there any more shrimp balls back here? <laughs> who, who are you? We're the freelance police. We just saved your collective hash. Really? Then I guess it'd be okay to make you honorary Yeti chiefs. Doesn't even need proof way. of it. I mean, of course, the door handle is wiggling, but that could just be anyone. Can I have your attention, please? By the way, these guys are important. See you at the pool. Okay. Although it's our tradition to allow only Bigfoots and their dates to these gatherings... He seems disappointed somehow. These two have shown themselves worthy of our gratitude and our trust. These are a naive people. He said aloud. <laughs> so I'm granting them the title of Honorary Bigfoot Chief. So don't mess with them. That's it? Honorary Bigfoot Chief? Where's the cash? We don't want Bigfoot money, Max. It's probably made of tree bark or something. I know, but it's the principle of the thing. We're just bad-mouthing these people to about their the faces. The floor without concern for your health. Gee, thanks. For yeah. nothing of it. Fantastic. Oh, we kind of forgot to talk to Big Tits over there, but no. Uh, she doesn't really have much to say other than she's uh, the Bigfoot Chief's wife or whatever. Since you have proven yourselves to be friends Yay! of the Yeti, I have brought you here to share in our biggest secret. 
these great totem poles have been gathered from across the world and passed down from generation to generation of Bigfoots. Like fruitcake. We believe they hold the answer to our ultimate salvation. That's a weird but running the joke. the secret of their purpose is a riddle we've been unable to fathom. Sounds heavy. Like fruitcake. It's real heavy. Hey! Bruno. Like fruitcake. <laughs> why aren't you at the party? Who can party while their world comes to an end? Now, also, why are we Most having a party? Mange ridden brethren, apparently. Well, I told you it was a bad idea to spike the punch. I thought it would loosen up everyone's imagination. And one of them no started talking about aliens. Extinction. Okay, guys, here's the situation. The Bigfoot way of life is rapidly going down the tubes. Oh, These no, not the tubes. Might be able to save us, but A, we don't know what they mean. B, most of us have been partying too much to figure <laughs> out what they mean. These are and naive people. C, we Bigfoots have a hard time operating in public, if you know what I mean. Clothes would help with that. We be asking for help, but we're desperate. Well, that's also how we a bit get lazy. most of our gigs, so why not? Yeah. Great. Does it pay? Why don't you three get cracking on the totem poles? I'm going to the hot tub. Of course he is. <laughs> and it's all up top. And there he goes. Off he scoots. Uh, we can have a chat with uh, old Bruno over here, which I, I think we should. Hi. Okay, Sam. He's here. We're here. Let's go. Wait. Go where? Back to the carnival so we can get paid, you big lummox. I may be slow, but I am not stupid. I'm staying right here. Psst, okay, we'll drag Max. you. What? Maybe we should wait a while before returning Bruno to his well-meaning yet horribly twisted owners. Owners. Why? Because I have a sick, gnarled premonition that something important is going to happen to the Bigfoots. And it would be nice if Bruno were here to see it before we slapped him back in a block of ice. You're getting soft, Sam. <laughs> We've decided to let you roam free until the end of the convention. Gee, thanks. Is there anything I can do for you in return? At which point we will yank you off your feet and drag you back, uh, to your owners? And then cryogenically freeze you, but in a bad way? Wow. Okay, so, um, backpedaling a little. Okay, so the, uh, the, the hint with the, uh, he's vulnerable to ice thing, which is locked the Conroy Bumpus in a, in an ice box and he will remain there until the end of the game don't worry we're, we're free of him so next up are the four totem poles and they are um, frankly ridiculously easy to solve i've oh I, I i forgot to do something back in washington uh or the no wait the uh mount rushmore thing uh so we need to go there and we also need to go to the mystery vortex we have this one because that dude's face looks very familiar doesn't it and this um is, uh, is, is well actually let's ask bruno see that totem pole what about it what do you think it means hmm i've got it what did you tell them i told them to start looking for bald guys with spaghetti on their heads good let's keep moving Be seeing you not if i see you first I'll get back in the fucking block of ice, man. Okay, so, uh, if there is a way to get to the hot tub itself, we I can start asking the chief some questions. I'm, I, this is the walk cursor, isn't it? Hang on. So go in here. Put, oh, no, I was using Max. That could be the problem. No, Bruno's just blocking the fucking way. Hey, wait, hang on, hang on. Did he scoot? He scooted! Yes, I found the secret hotspot. So we can go to... Oh, there we are. For a second there, it didn't work. Hi, Chiefy Poo. Nice bit of hot tub action. Thought you were getting in it, actually, but... Hey, Chief. Don't call me Chief. Why not? I'm still having nightmares about alligators. I know that everyone involved with this extraordinary quest has had their demons to contend with. But let me make one thing perfectly clear. It'll be worth it. Act! He said quest! <laughs> I think my furry little body may break out on a rash of unsightly hives. Hi, Sierra. Anyway, let's ask him about the totem poles. Actually, let's ask him about the same totem pole, see what kind of advice he gives. What does the fourth totem pole represent? I'm asked that very question all the time. Are you really? Well, answer, rapid growth. Oh! I remember what it actually is. <laughs> it's Conroy Bumpus' hair gel. Uh, so anyway. How does the third pole figure into the scheme of things? 
Let me be very clear. That pole constitutes the harmony from the coexistence of two similar beings. A harmony that springs from mutual respect and understanding. It's the uh, fruit of John Muir that we picked up. Anyway, uh, let's just ask him about Bruno. What can you tell us about Bruno? Is it me, or does it feel as if we've asked just about everybody in the country about Actually, Bruno? Actually, we haven't. Oh, Bruno. Full of vim and vigor. Piss and vinegar. On the world. It reminds me of when I was his age. Stark naked and running around nature freely. What's your official stance on Conroy Bumpus? Conroy Bumpus is a threat to the American way of life. Yeah. It has been and continues to be of highest importance that we rid ourselves of this most negative influence on the young people of our brave new world. The missus and I sure like his music, though. Someone has to. All right, I'm I'll off. Be back. I'll be here. I'm sure you will. What I'm going to do is I'm going to head off. I'm going to get every single ingredient. You, you just have to hand off the four ingredients of the totem poles, what the totem poles represent, and then you've actually finished the game. Game over. So what are we going to do? We have the hair gel. We have the fruit of John Muir. All we need now is the dinosaur tooth and the mystery vortex thing. Uh, the dinosaur tooth is back in Mount Rushmore. That's why I said I was missing something back there. Can we go through this, please? And, all right, let's just have a quick chat with Big Tits over here. I clicked on Max by accident. I'm filled with disgust and an odd sense of foreboding. And? Yeah. Well, that's all. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's chat. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. Come on. Come up. Never mind then. All right. She'll have to wait for later. Okay. Let's see if I remember this puzzle correctly. Therein lies dinosaur toothy. It's a fearsome maw. And it's got a two. Uh, apparently, we don't want to look at that. Anyway, let's uh, activate. Hi. My name is Rex. The thunder. Hi. My name is Rex. The. F and I need to walk away from him as his mouth is open. It's a fearsome maw. Still doesn't describe the tooth, but okay. So, you're supposed to clairvoyantly know that you have to chuck this robe up there? Yep, yeah, here we go. Boy, LucasArts really, really loved this sample pack of cartoon sound effects they paid for. And then we just yank on it. I haven't got enough leverage from here to pull out a tooth. Oh, I need to attach this to something. Hang on, let's see. Let's pick this up. I can't take it anywhere. Okay, I can use it on something. I haven't got enough leverage from here to pull out a tooth. Maybe Max can help. Can't remember how to do this. Yep, here we go. Here we go. We finally got the tooth. The whole tooth? Nothing but. That was ridiculous. Oh, hang on. I forgot something in here. Uh, we need to pick up this bottle of wine over here. There we go. Because uh, we need a uh, cork to put in the snow globe to capture the mystery vortex. I think I've been over this. It's really just common sense. But first we need to pop the cork. Actually, let's have a look at said bottle of wine. Chateau Sasquatch 92. A very bad year. And... Well, I guess points for guessing, because it is not immediately obvious. We need a corkscrew, and the closest thing we have to a corkscrew is the ice pick we picked up, but... I don't think the ice pick will remove the cork. Which is more hints than you usually get, because let's say you want to remove it with this bucket of fish. I can't use these things together. If you're playing this game blind and you've never played it before, you, you hear that sentence a lot. I can't use these things together, because one thing they did not bother doing is write any click events for anything that's not immediately uh, conducive to puzzle solving or the plot. So you hear that a lot. And with moon launching puzzles, that's really kind of a no-no. But uh, that's neither here nor there. We know exactly what we're doing. And there's this vague hint, like when, when Sam finally says something unique, like, oh wait, the ice pick won't remove the cork. That's your hint that 
the ice pick's gonna do something it just needs a twisty twist um it doesn't actually say that it won't remove it because it's not twisty twist you're supposed to just sort of figure out that that's what it Make needs leg, max uh, speed the fuck up here dude so as you can probably guess we are headed to the one person who is more twisted than anything else in this game by sheer virtue of the fact that he does that with his mind Oh, long time no fucking see up here. Here you go. Can you do something provocative with Can this? Can you ban this? Sure. Just let me finish this one. Oh, the pits. Pit stains under his arms. Lovely. Let's see it. Hmm. By the way, there's a bunch of weird checks in to check if he's, like, doing... How's that? Great. <laughs> How's that? Great. Uh, there's a bunch of weird che uh, dialogue checks, and if he's currently working on one of the wrenches, or if he is in the middle of a pause, or if he has just made one, he has a different line for each of those scenarios. So the game constantly checks whether he is about to, currently doing, or has completed a wrenchy thing. I am fascinated. I hope you are too. God damn, I'm gonna miss this. <laughs> <laughs> I, have this, I have this uncomfortable feeling this is the last game I'll ever play on this computer, but of course, of course not! Of course, we shall soldier on indeed. And in fact, right now we shall shoulder the fuck- I can't talk, it's very, very late. We shall soldier the fuck on to... Mystery Vortex. Do something equally weird and provocative here, let's open this. Actually, let's have a look at it first. It's a nice pick that's been horribly twisted. Unlike anything else in this game. I mean, Jesus. That seems to have gotten the cork off. Shall and we raise a toast to nuclear disarmament? <laughs> With this poison? Don't be silly. You just chuck the fucking bottle away. Anyway, nice cork. Cork? Yeah. That's, that's what you get for trying to examine objects, click events, stuff like that. Why would you, you absolute philistine? Actually, hello. Can I, can I get some advice up here? Will I ever recapture the carefree innocence of my youth? Yes. yes. Awesome! Right, since we have carte blanche to just use this thing for free, can because we try the vortex? technically Stick police. Right in. You would imagine a tourist trap actually charging for shit like this, but here we go. Um, uh, I forgot to put the cork in, but that's okay. Let's do like this. Where's the fuck? There that it seems to have capped the snow globe. Awesome. And now we use this on this. I made it. I am a genius at puzzle solving. Indeed. Wow, the snow globe actually sucked in the pseudo mystical energies of the mystery vortex. I was hoping something like that would happen. And as an added bonus, we have now destroyed this woman's livelihood. Cool, let's uh, hightail it over to Evelyn Morrison's Jungle Inn and watch the end of this game before anyone's the fucking wiser. Are you talkative now? Yes. Mrs. V? Yes. I can only imagine how exciting it must be to be married to the King of the Bigfoots. Wife, oh, then. Oh, it's not so. that great. Sure, you get to travel, but sometimes you get so lonely. Why, just yesterday, I was telling my therapist, Nancy. Nancy, sometimes it's so lonely at the top. So she said, bow, bow, bow. Bow, bow, bow. Blah, blah, blah. Yada, yada, yada. Bow, bow, bow. Oogly, oogly, oogly. Blah, blah, blah. What so, what's your take on that tornado totem pole? Well, my husband thinks it's some sort of homage to the wild and woolly nature of us Bigfoots. But if you ask me, I think it's an indictment of people who don't wash their hands before dinner. I remember when we had our niece, Jay, over for dinner, and I said, Jay, don't you touch that bread until you wash the icor off your fur. So she said, yada, yada, yada. And I said, blah, blah, blah. So she said, <laughs> Enough blah, of this horse shit. Gotta go. Don't be a stranger. I'm going to go finish the fucking game and never speak to you again. Um, it occurs to me Bruno's just standing there doing nothing. Bruno, over here. Over here. We're about to finish the game. You want to come? No? Fine. Fuck you then. Right? 
Let's do this! First and foremost... Well, the first totem pole was actually the Mystery Vortex, so let's shove that in this dude's face. <laughs> look, look, he's more naked now when I do this. I think I figured out one of the totem poles. Let me see. Whee! Into the hot tub it goes, for some reason. And Lucas Arts just flex their animation muscle. A handheld vortex. Good thinking. Thinking had nothing to do with it. Absolutely, it did not. No, it had a lot to do with calling hit lines. Uh, that totem pole was supposed to disappear at a much slower rate. <laughs> it was supposed to sort of pixelate out of existence, but DOSBox is at 100% cycles. Good lord. Okay, fine. Um, the next totem pole was the dinosaur tooth. Just hand it over, thank you. Hey, Chiefy Poo, I think I figured Chiefy out one Poo. of those baffling totem poles. It made a sound for no reason whatsoever. A genuine dinosaur tooth. Genuine. I figured it might be something like that. Did he say genuine? <laughs> Look, Max is naked. The next one is our fabulous picture of John Muir. Actually, the fruity remains of John Muir. Where are you going? I believe we've deduced the secret of one of your totem poles. Hit me. I thought he was going to kiss it. Come on, make out with the fruit. For a second, I thought he was going to shove it up his ass. Uh, he did something much worse. He danced. The combination of man and nature. Inventive. Is it soup yet? Soup's on. And finally, we hand over this disgusting pillow. Max takes a lap around the... Or Sam hey, takes a lap Mr. around Chief, the hot tub again. We found something that might tie into your totem poles. Yeah? W what is it? One of them. Hair growth tonic. Very resourceful. We just like stealing pillows. Well, that should do it, right? <laughs> Nothing's happening, Sam. What's the story, Pops? Oh, I don't know. I'm sure you got the ingredients I'm right, not. but... Oh, of course. How silly of me. What? In order for the spell to work, we need a living Bigfoot sacrifice. Excuse me? It'd be a shame to lose one of these furry fellas. You know what? Actually, think? no. Wait, I've got an idea. Chuck Bruno in doesn't there. Require high explosives. Wait here. Really? Oh. While he's gone, I'll go see if any of the Bigfoots <laughs> wants to off themselves for the greater good. I got dark in a hurry, didn't I? Anyway, Max is off solving the remaining puzzle of the game for you. It is rather nice of him, actually. Yay! Everyone's drunk off their asses. No one is even cowering or slightly perturbed by what is occurring right now. Oh, they're a little excited. Mildly excited. This will have no structural impact damage whatsoever. Millions of people are not running screaming for their lives right now. It's also highly improbable. And yet, not a sad sight. Those are some big ass fucking trees. Hey, they went into Canada. Fuck you, well, Canadians. That was one heck of an impressive display. And actually highly destructive to boot. No bonus. Bye, Sam and Max. I'm not sure how I could ever thank you, so I guess I won't. <laughs> Fuck you, then! Will you and Trixie be heading back into the forest to live an idyllic nature-oriented existence together? That means naked. Oh, no, we're going to Vegas to get hitched. 
it hasn't been trashed by all this crazy redwood nonsense. None of the Bigfoots were actually into hiding at all, it seems. Blend in, live our lives, maybe even raise a family. Ew. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, you Nazi primitive man beast, you. And you date. You boys should be proud of what you've helped us achieve here today. You mean the wholesale destruction of the symbols of modern civilization in the Western United States? Yeah, that one. You bet we are. Do we win a prize? Well, oh, why not? This medallion has been a part of my family for untold generations. Wear it in good health. Yeah, here, have it. Thanks, Chief. Max loves cheap sentiment. Wrapper <laughs> mm -hmm. and all. Foil-covered chocolatey goodness. What's wrong, Sam? Untold generation. That thing was millions of years old. For me. Well, I could give you my ritual headdress that I bought at Snucky's last week. This is hardly payment. I appreciate the gesture, but I've already got a hat. Well, that's fine, too. Farewell, Sam. Yeah, that's all I got. Fuck you, then. Remember, I'm off. Though the night be dark, the dawn yet shall awaken and annoy you. Have a nice day. That's a t-shirt. I'll miss that old rascal. I'll miss the way he smelled like a bag full of damp hamster shavings. Just like Grandpa. <laughs> hey, we forgot to get paid. Don't worry, little buddy. I've got it all covered. Yeah, infinite money. Happy. With those idiots on the case, we'll probably never see Bruno again. Oh, lighten up, Burl. Hey, they're back. They haven't moved the entire time. Did you find Bruno? Of course. Bruno! How can we ever repay you? The blank How did you get that out of the hut tub? The reward we need. That and a big fat check. Would you settle for 3,000 skee-ball tickets? Close enough. Let's go, Max. Why doesn't that thing meld under you know, the Max, lights? But, uh, I can't help thinking that we've foolishly tampered with the fragile inner mechanisms of this little spaceship we call Earth. Gosh, Sam, if a few hundred years of civilization have to be total just to ensure that a bunch of smelly quasi-human creatures have a safe haven for their disgusting lifestyles, then so be it! He's got a point. You crack me up, little buddy. Burl, did Bruno always have four arms? Yes. You're high. And this is actually a, a fully functioning shooting gallery, which does absolutely nothing. I have indeed shot everything. I can also shoot the credits, which is fun. Uh, but anyway, that was uh, Sam and Max Hit the Road. I'm very, very thankful that everyone came along for the journey with me. Um, Bill Farmer, Sam, Nick Jameson, and Max, except no substitutes. These are the only voices of Sam and Max I will accept. Ooh, a purple tentacle. And uh, we finally got to see the uh, the actual original CD-ROM version. There's the uh, original uh, control panel again. It seems to have moved, which it does during the credit sequence. I cannot control that. But anyway, so uh, thank you for watching me replay one of my favorite games from my childhood. I'm sorry that the last two episodes had to be done under somewhat strange circumstances, but um, here we are nonetheless. So I can't really promise you when the next series of whatever is gonna come out or when I'm gonna be able to stream next time or what I'm gonna be able to, I, I just don't know. Things are really up in the air, uh, per personally uh, for me. Uh, so, but not in a uh, necessarily a bad way, just in a bad way for all of you. If you were indeed interested in watching this, and if not, how'd you make it this far? Really? If you're not interested, no? Okay, so um, thank you nonetheless for watching me play one of my favorite games, as I mentioned. Please like, subscribe, do whatever you kids do. Do leave me a comment. I quite enjoy the comments. I've always enjoyed the comments, and uh, forgive this hiatus that is coming up. I, I'm, I'm gonna try and get some more content out. I actually have a bit of a, a plan to, you know, play some console games in the meantime while I get my uh, my computer up and running. So we'll we'll see how that turns out. Uh, but feel free to leave a comment nonetheless and hang out on the SKH Discord in the meantime because I will still be there. I'll be still... Uh, I will be still uh, having a good time with the lads and ladettes over there. We've got a great community. Uh, there's a link in the description. Please, please come by. Please, we're so very, very lonely. Anyway, cheers. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around the Chrono stream.